Hello, my name is Lucy West, and welcome to Mediation, Premises, Practices, and Policies. This is Module 1. I wanted to introduce some basic information about mediation. My day job is mediating, facilitating, and uh, doing conflict resolution as a neutral. I'm also an instructor, trainer, and educator. And over the years, I've learned a few lessons, so I wanted to share some of the big lessons that I've learned to get us started. First, be yourself. There are all different types of mediators. There are funny mediators, there are quiet mediators, there are mediators that fill up the room with their big personalities. Whatever type of person you are, you're going to be that type of mediator. Don't try to be another type. Um, of person. We can definitely learn from each other, different styles, tips, tricks. Um, really what we're going to cover is a toolkit of how to frame mediation. So there are some things that flow from mediator to mediator that need to be fairly consistent. But as far as your personality, embrace and amplify it with the lessons and information that we learn. The second piece of information or advice, which was actually given to me by one of my former trainers, is in mediation, as the mediator, you shouldn't work harder than your people. And by work harder than your people, I mean the parties, the people involved in the conflict. As a mediator, you're neutral. And as a neutral, it's a really interesting and unusual situation because most of the time we're on one side or the other. So as a neutral, you shouldn't be the one working the hardest. You should be working to help people feel comfortable, create an environment where uh, communication can take place, help frame the discussions and how the mediation takes place. But the parties, the people involved in the conflict, they're the ones who should be working the hardest towards a solution. There have been times where I've made the mistake of being the one who's worked the hardest. It did not end up well. And when I say it didn't end up well is that the parties hadn't bought in and we didn't end up coming to agreement anyway. And you just leave frustrated. So it's really important to let your parties do the work and be that framework to let them and their ideas come forward towards a resolution if it's possible. I wish you well this first week. And I'll see you next week.